Hello people, in this video let us look at hospital waste management. Uh, it is a community medicine topic, right? So basically, you know what we are talking about here, right? So basically there will be different types of waste in a hospital and we will have to decide uh, which dustbin to put in so that we can segregate the waste and the, handle the waste in such a way that there is no hazard, okay? So if there is inappropriate handling, <clears throat> there can be infection, right? So we need to dispose the waste correctly. So are you understanding guys what exactly we are trying to do here? So basically if, the, if we do not handle the waste properly, there can be infections, right? There can be uh, chemicals, genotoxic waste, there can be radioactive waste, some drugs that are being thrown like antibiotics, the bacteria can gain resistance to these um, antimicrobials, right? So handling of waste is very important. So a lot of types of waste are there, right? Like paper, plastic, chemicals, then uh, anatomical wastes, right? Medicines, what else do you think can be there? Gloves, syringes, right? So many things are there, guys. So basically, <clears throat> we should try to minimize waste production itself and whatever is there, we try to recycle, okay? So a lot of things are there. First, pay attention here. Basically, let us say you have human anatomical waste like this, guys. Let us say you have human anatomical waste like a placenta here, like a blood bag here. So where do you think this will go? So your mind will say that it should go to a red dustbin, right? And a urine catheter like this, which is plastic, where do you think it should go? So you would say that it should go into a yellow dustbin, correct? This is what you're thinking, correct? But this is wrong, 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 okay? Unfortunately, this is not what the government says. So you have to put blood bag and human anatomical waste into yellow dustbin and urine catheter on all these plastics into red dustbin. Don't ask why. Unfortunately, it is not as common sense as we thought it is. Okay, so let's shift the dustbins here. Yellow gets the anatomical waste and the human anatomical waste or any anatomical waste for that matter, animal uh, anatomical waste, whatever, and all the plastics, etc., which are recyclable, recyclable, go to red dustbin. Okay, so basic thing you understood, right, guys? We are not the people who make the rules. So yellow gets what? The anatomical waste and the blood bags, etc., and who gets uh, uh, red? Red gets what? Red gets the plastics which are recyclable. Recyclable. So the only way you can remember now is red. Red is danger. Plastic it is. They think plastic is more dangerous. Whatever. So guys, four colors you have to know: yellow, red, white, blue. Okay, yellow, red, white, blue. Now you have already understood yellow. What will you? What you will put? Yellow, you will put blood bags, anat anatomical wastes, all that, right? So yellow, you are putting what? Blood bags, anatomical waste, etc. Okay, so these are the things you will put here. So in red, what will you put? In red, you will put urine catheter, plastics, all that, okay? We will tell you more details, hold on. Now you understand plastic which is recyclable goes to red. Now white will have sharp objects, guys. Look at this. White has disposable sharp container. You can see here. Sharp container. Okay. White is sharp. Okay. Sharp objects. Blue. So sharp goes in which color? White. 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 Okay. Now blue. Blue will get again recyclable things. Okay. Here it will get glass that is recyclable and metal okay metallic waste okay which is recyclable so red gets what plastic that is recyclable recycle the plastic a blue will get glass that is recyclable right and metal that is recyclable okay so have you understood this much guys so this is basics this much if you have understood remaining is not at all difficult okay so yellow red white blue for general waste, any color can be used. That's what they have told here. Okay, any other color like black or green, whatever you want. So considering that you're giving anatomical waste here, what do you think they will do with it? They will incinerate it. Okay, incinerate means, you know, at high temperature, they'll burn it, right? Incinerate it or plasma pyrolysis. Plasma pyrolysis means what? Like they will try to generate some gases out of it, like carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, right? All those type of gases they will try to create or they will do deep burial okay this much you have understood right yellow yellow you have understood 
Now let us come to red. Red, what will, what exactly will they do with it? Okay, we have to understand that. When they take these kind of urine catheters, right, the plastics. So, plastic means like bottles, say bottle. Bottle. Tube. Tube. Uh, catheters. Catheters. Urine bag. Urine bag. Vacutainers. Vacutainers. Gloves. Gloves. Yeah, all that comes in red. So, what exactly do they do with this, these plastics? Obviously, they will try to first sterilize it, autoclave them, then they will shred them. After shredding them, that is, they become pieces. After they become multiple pieces, they are going to be sent for recycling. So, first of all, you will sterilize them with in autoclave. Then you will shred them, cut them into pieces, probably so that they are not reused. Right? I mean, then they will send it for recycling. Okay? There is a difference between reuse and recycle. Reuse means you they will empty the bottle and reuse the bottle. That's wrong. Right? So, they will shred it and then recycle it. Okay? So, you have understood red, no? What is red? Say red. Come here. Red. Red. For plastic. For plastic. Yes. Recycle. Recycle. Okay. So, now let us go to the other recycle things here. Other recycle things here are what? Blue. Blue is glass and metal, right? So, glass from where will you get glass? Like glass you will get in terms of uh, medicine vials, right? The ampules, etc. So, you know those bottles that contain medicine. So, this is glassware, right? Then uh, metallic. Metallic means what you'll get some body implants, etc. So, you want to recycle glass and metal, okay? So, what exactly you will do here? You will disinfect them, right? by autoclaving, microwaving and then you will directly send for recycling. Here you are not doing any shredding. Okay, so basically autoclave etc. And then you will recycle. Here they are not doing any shredding. That is the only difference here. Okay, blue is done. Okay, so blue is done, yellow is done, red is done, white is done, everything is done. So now we will ask you questions. You will say, what is red used for? Plastic. What is uh, yellow used for? Blood bag, blood bag, anatomical waste. Anatomical waste. Yes. Now, what is white used for? White used for sharp, sharp object, sharp object. Okay. Blue. Blue is used for glass. Glass. Metal. Metal. You want green? Okay, but we don't have green here. Okay. So basically, uh, what do they do with the red waste? They will. Send it for recycling. Finally, it is for recycle. Recycle. Say, recycle. Blue is again for recycle. Okay. White, this usually um, for sharp containers, they'll have a different box. So, you will know sometimes even if the color is different, it will be having this kind of a cutter, etc. Okay. So, where they will put all the needles and cut them. Now, uh, in the yellow, right, you have to know some more things. Let's know these things. Okay. What and all are they putting in yellow? They are putting anatomical waste. Right? Like human anatomical waste, animal anatomical waste. They are putting some soiled waste like blood, body fluids, dressings. Okay. Dressings, body casts, plasters. Okay. Plaster class, plaster casts. Right. Then discarded blood and blood components. Bags containing residual or discarded blood. So, blood bag you can see, right? What do you say? Then, antibiotics. So, antibiotics, right? So, all the medicines, pharmaceutical, uh, pharmaceutical waste, cytotoxic drugs, uh, right? All that you should put here. So, then, what else? So, where will you put all the medicines, guys? Basically, in yellow again. Chemical wastes, so chemical wastes like uh, disinfectants, all that. Then chemical liquid waste go in separate system, okay. Chemical liquid waste go in separate system, they are saying. So insert a row here. So if there are liquid waste, chemical liquid waste, they go into different bag, okay. Chemical liquids, okay, liquid waste. Like what will the liquid waste be? What do you think the liquid waste will be? Like um, disinfectants again, discarded disinfectants, formalin, infected secretions, silver x-ray film de developing liquid, 
aspirated body fluids fluid liquid from laboratories floor washings cleanings housekeeping disinfecting activities so basically what are they doing with all these liquids they are going to pretreat them okay neutralize them and all that and then they are going to do water waste water they are going to mix it with waste water okay so that is another thing here if you want you can remember this it's kind of complicated actually then discard if any bed is there right bed let's put it here bed if there is any infected see if there is any bed or a mattress or a linen which is discarded which is contaminated with blood or body fluid it will again go into yellow right because it is blood guys blood body fluid anatomical waste chemicals antibiotics medicines all of it are going where in the yellow 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 okay which which is the next color red red correct so now let's go to red so in red what are you putting plastics that are recyclable so what are the list what are there in this list so you will say gloves right bottles tubes catheters syringes vacutainers gloves etc here you will not put needle remember needle is sharp needle part you have to remove and the remaining plastic of the syringe you will put here in the red okay then what will they do with this they will autoclave it shred it recycle now coming to white white is what needle syringe or sharp things okay sharp like what needle syringes with fixed needle if some syringes have fixed needle which you cannot put separately in the red and white then you are putting them here then scalpels blades any other contaminated sharp object that may cause puncture or uh, cuts okay so this you will put here in the white container okay yeah. then where are you putting them what type of a container is it it is a puncture proof leak proof tamper proof container what type of containers are these guys these are puncture proof leak proof tamper proof containers okay yeah. yeah what will you do with these sharp objects now you will autoclave them etc basically sterilize them then what will you do then you will shred them yeah. again they are shredding here and then they are sending them to some uh, iron foundries or landfills sanitary landfills or designated concrete waste sharp pit some pit okay let us say some landfill some pit some iron foundries etc so those people will take all these sharp objects this is an underground uh, concrete sharp pit come see this and tell what it is it is what do you put inside this sharp objects yeah sharp what do you put here sharp object yes that's right so this is a concrete pit okay so now last uh, we are moving on to blue do you like blue yeah really i thought you liked pink do you like pink okay fine so now let us go to blue guys blue what are you putting glass and metal come say glass glass and metal metal yeah so basically how are they going to do this they are going to autoclave it sterilize them and then directly recycle them there's no shredding here okay so glass means uh, ampules vials etc uh, metallic means body implants etc so is this clear guys so i think we are done with uh, biomedical or hospital waste management what do you think so is it all clear so shall we wind up this video say bye bye guys here there are some more points so let's just cover them all the plastic bags should be as per bis standards okay what are bis what is bis it's bureau of indian standards okay so where these plastic bags will be bureau of indian standards okay b u r e a u bureau of indian standards okay then some more rules are there if there's a dead fetus guys if there is a dead fetus which is below the viability period right then it can be considered human anatomical waste okay you should hand over the anatomical waste the dead fetus to the operator in common biomedical waste okay that's in the yellow bag and you should give a copy of the medical termination of pregnancy okay you should give it with medical ter termination of pregnancy certificate okay cytotoxic drug vials shall not be handed over to unauthorized person so basically you will give everything to authorized people only right 
sometimes these cytotoxic drugs what they will do they will send it back to the manufacturer for disposal okay that's also possible so any biohazard material is shown like this any cytotoxic drug has this symbol interestingly guys once they incinerate right the incine incinerate the ash right even the ash there is a regulation the ash shall be disposed through hazardous waste treatment storage and disposal facility if toxic or hazardous constituents were present beyond the prescribed limits okay so if beyond the prescribed limits there was hazardous stuff then the ash also has to be disposed so carefully interesting so guys where do you think you'll put the vaccines vaccines will go in yellow only they are all medicines right where will you put gloves Red Where will you put uh, blood, etc.? Yellow. <coughs> Where will you? Hmm? Where will you put needle? In white dustbin. Correct, correct. And what are they putting in this dustbin? Um, General waste. General waste. Waste. Okay. Okay, that's all for now. Bye, bye. Say bye. bye.